Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak here today. I know we're getting kind of wilted. We've been going on quite a while. But uh, thank you for lending me your ear. So gather around. Let me know if you can't hear me. And hello to my neighbor. I haven't met you yet, but uh, I live right off Kelly Drive. So uh, good to see you here. Anybody else here from the Bellevue area? Yeah. All right. Well, wonderful. I know all of you. So hopefully I've got your vote. Um, but let me tell you a little bit. As John mentioned, my name is Richard Carter. I'm running for the state legislature in LD45 in the Bellevue area. But as you guys know, we're gathered here on a Sunday, and so uh, I might get a little bit preachy. So, um, but uh, bear with me if I do. My full-time occupation is I am a teacher. I teach economics for a living at Metro Community College. I'm also an Air Force Reservist. I'm a major in the Reserves. And so you will see those two things come out in my speech, a little bit of economics, a little bit of military strategy. Hopefully a group like this, I don't have to win over you too much. So I want to take time to talk about our opponents a little bit in the left. We've talked about health care quite a bit today, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I thought maybe you might enjoy knowing your enemy a little bit, because you are not prepared to do battle if you do not know your enemy. So I'm going to give you a little bit of what I know about our enemy. Now, there was a poll done that said, what are Americans' greatest fears? Number two was death. Does anybody know what number one was? Public speaking. So, <laughs> so as a comedian pointed out, that means at a funeral, you'd rather be in the grave than giving the eulogy. <laughs> Well, folks, what I'm here to tell you is we're going to have to start speaking out. I know it's tough, but we're going to have to make our voice heard. The left has done a good job at making their voice heard, and I think what this rally is about today is making our voice heard. Because if we do not speak out, it is our republic that will be in the grave. Now, I said I'll tell you what the left is up to. Well... I'm going to read you a list from 1958. It was published in a book called The Naked Communist. And in this book, the man identified 45 goals of the communist, mostly aimed at the Americans. Let me read through with you a few of them. I don't have time to go through all of them. But as you listen to these, see if you think this wasn't too far off. This wasn't written yesterday, folks, 1958. Goal number 41, emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. Attribute prejudices, mental blocks, and retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. Number 40, discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. Transfer, number 38, transfer some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders, which no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat. Move on to 31, belittle all forms of American culture and discourage the teaching of American history on the ground that it was only a minor part of the big picture. Number 30, discredit the American founding fathers. Present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. 29, discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs and a hindrance to cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis. So far, has any of that happened? Is any of that true? All of it. I agree with you, sir. Let's keep moving on. Number 28. Eliminate prayer or any phrase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. Oh, well, that hasn't happened, has it? Yeah. 27, infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which, is not, which does not need a religious crutch. 26, present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal and natural and healthy. 25, break down culture standards, cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Number 13, do away with all loyalty oaths. The list goes on. If you'd like to hear more of them, please come up to me. I'll let you read through them. But I think my point is made here. We've seen this take hold. God is not allowed in schools. Prayer is not allowed in schools. The name of Jesus Christ shall not be mentioned at public gatherings. You shall not say a prayer in His name. 
Students are not allowed to say the pledge, not allowed to take an oath to the flag or to our country. So the left has been up to this for a long time. Now this health care ruling, I said I'd get to health care in a minute. What you see here now in this health care is just a manifestation of work that's been in place for over half a century. Now why does the left want to tear down God and take Him out of your life? Because He's their competition. For a leftist, a socialist, a communist, a fascist, the state is their God. You see, the state is the final arbiter of right and wrong with them. And so the Supreme Court can tell you what's right or wrong. But for us, for those that believe in something higher, the state is not our final authority. So Chief Justice can tell us that the state can do this. But we know right from wrong. For it is written on our hearts by our Creator. Independence Day. We do not get our freedoms and liberties from our nation or from our state. We do not worship our state. Our rights are given to us by our Creator. We know these truths to be self-evident. And so, will they shut us up? They will not shut me up. I'd like to remind you of the prophet Jeremiah's words. Jeremiah 20, 9. Chapter 20, verse 9. And if I say I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name, then there is in my heart, as it were, a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I am weary with forbearing, for it I cannot contain. Folks, the left will not silence us. We will speak out. We will continue to speak truth to evil. And we will speak truth to those in power. Please join me. We cannot let it stay contained within us. We know right from wrong, and we will stand up for right. Help us get there to the legislature. Help us get to Congress. Send Deb Fisher to the Senate. Send Mitt Romney to the White House. Send Lee Terry back to Congress. Hopefully send Rich Carter to the legislature and John Moranti and Acela Turco. And let us speak that truth. But please do not stop there. Because once we get there, we need you behind us reminding, reminding us of that truth. So it only begins today and it doesn't end anytime soon. Thank you very much. And may I remind you that on this Independence Day, we are not a nation that is independent. We are a nation dependent upon God. Thank you.